Hello everybody, welcome back to the void. I'm player one. And I'm here for your toes. Oh. And welcome back to Professor Legion in the name of Legolabox. Last time, I did some more Wi-Fi puzzles, but last time in the story, we have made it to False Sense, the weird-ass town. We are here. You immediately got to a puzzle, okay. Yes, uh, we are here. We're looking for a hotel. In front of the town train station are four buildings standing in a row. One of these four is supposedly the local hotel, though it lacks a sign. Even so, if you studied the area carefully, you should be able to tell which of the buildings is the hotel. Um... Oh, okay. I guess just use context clues with figure out which Save. one it is. Save it? Oh yes, you're right. I almost forgot. Okay. Um... For a hotel, it's probably to have more rooms than the others. It's probably D. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Nope. Nope. Roll that back. Uh, A? Hmm. Let's see if this works. Really? Roll that back. B? Hmm, let's see if this works. Wow. Roll that back. O okay, it's it's C. The one that looks like it has the least amount of rooms. How do you explain this game? Piece of cake. Go ahead. The windows and door of building C spell out the word hotel. The fuck? I mean, it does, but who's gonna see that? Dream food. Ooh. I forgot we had tea. Because we haven't gotten a tea thing in a while. Will you go back? Will you get your thing? A little bit. I think with a little rest, I'll be back to my old self. Floor, Luke and I are going back out to learn more about the town. Why don't you stay here for a while and rest up? Yes, take it easy for a while, Flora. We'll be back before long. Thanks, Luke. Be careful out there. You too, Professor. Do you think Flora's gonna be alright, sir? I wouldn't fret too much, Luke. She may just be exhausted from our long journey. I think our best course of action now is to gather what information we can and hurry back to the hotel. After all, a gentleman never keeps a lady waiting. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye, Flora. In air quotations. I know you're not sick, you're looking to rubble. Alright. Right. I am taking control. I need to find coins. Okay. Alright. I am tapping. That is... That is all of them. Okay. Who is, who is bro? Tap bro. Krantz? You're leaving, the czars. I do hope that the young lady traveling with you feels better soon. Well, thank you, Krantz. I'm gonna take her soul while you're gone. Let's be up. I mean, what? Alright, how do we. I do am the, the captain now. How do we do the T again? We just combine stuff, see if it makes something? Alright. Brisk, berry, dream, fluff, and. Oasis Leaf. No. 
One sip was enough to make me cry. Dream I'm going fluff. to make a mid tea. The most relaxing tea. Damn. Should we bother doing trial and error, or should I just get the tea recipes? Trial and error is fun. And we got the bell tot, the brisk berry, the dream fluff. Damn. It's foaming. This tea is foaming. So Oh dear. So, why is it frothy? I suppose that's a clear sign this tea isn't fit for human consumption, then. Perhaps we can use it to clean the floor. <laughs> Did we... Did we really just make floor cleaner? I, uh... Alright, sir, I don't think we're making shit. We are not cooking. Let me try something. Let me try... Two Dream Fluff... And then... Brisk Berry. Yeah, we ain't making shit. So I'm saying, fuck it, I'm looking up the recipes. Okay. You know, it makes, it makes sense that Leighton likes tea like that. Because he's a gentleman. Yeah, it, I'm just realizing. Hmm. Leighton's head is a cylinder. You what? His head is a cylinder. Yes, 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 it is. Like I wouldn't be surprised if you took the top, if you took his top hat off, and it was his head's just a can of Pringles. He is the Pringle Man. He is the Pringle Man's uncle. Alright, so I believe um, we don't have any other ingredient. Oh, wait, no, hang on, here's one. We take this, and then this, and then. Never mind, that's a completely separate ingredient. That is, that is not that. I don't think. Yeah, we can't make any more. Cheese. Hello, Biggie. Yes, he is level three sloth. The block is to block his line of sight. I didn't find any good place to put it yet. This, this is as far as I got, 17. Pretty sure it's about as good as we can get right now. Uh, the light bulb makes him keep running in the direction he is. So this just brings him all the way there, and he goes da 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 da, and then da 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 da. So I'm pretty sure this is as far as we can get right now. So what are you doing? You're 
Will that work for three spaces? I believe no. Got any snacks around here? Don't hold out on me. He went to the light bulb first. It did not work. Let me let me show you what what I had, because I had a like da -da, and then the eh. I'm pretty sure this is about as good as we can get right now. I'm not so good at moving and stuff. Because for some reason he goes to the light bulb and then goes all the way. And he goes down. And then he finds the stump. And then the house, and yeah. I'm I think this is as good as we can get it right now. I think we still need something else to keep it going. Go. Hotel room. Oh, hello, Flora. And that's all of them. Hello, Flora. I'll be here resting. You two be careful out there. We will, Flora. If that even is your real name. Luke, check to see if she's a trap. On it, oh. boss. Pulls out the search glove with a snap. Oh, Lord. Everything I've seen leads me to believe that Dr. Schrader visited Fulsense. The Elysian box and the facts we need to solve the mystery of his death are close by. I'm sure of it. You think whoever stole the Elysium box might be hiding it here as well? It's still too early to tell, but I'll know more if we can figure out why Dr. Schrader ventured out here in the first place. For now, our best course of action is to search for anything connected to the Elysian box. Let's get to it then. Let's get... Uh, lead the way, Professor. Yes. Alright, All right. I think we got like a lot of places we can go. Coins. Coins here. Where? Um. Yes, that's. Yes, okay. Oh, where'd he go? I guess we have Coins one. Coins here. On page. Where? Hmm? Coins here. On this page. Where? Got them already. Why not tell me this? I forgot. I kill you. Were you him? I 
go now. Uh, mark my words, Samuel. It's here in this town. I can guarantee it. I, 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 I. You are to sour every. You are to sour every into this place and bring it back to me at once. But it, Mister Squidward. Uh, come on, Unco. You really think it's everything people say it is? I don't know. Kinda sounds like a lot of baloney to me. I might be playing tricks on me. I could have sworn you just told me that my information was wrong. You're in no position to lecture me on the subject. Now, start looking. Okay, okay. No need to blow a gasket. I'm going. What do you think, Mr. Baluga? And the train conductor were talking about Professor. It would appear that they too are out on the hunt for something. You think it's the secret Craddy Patty formula? Hmm, yes. Oh, look over there. What on earth could that be? My god, it's Plankton. It's the. It's the Devil Book. It's some variety of strange book. Perhaps someone dropped it while running about town. Yikes! You know, the crazy cover, what's the symbol on it? Let's have a look. The symbol seems to be in the shape of a goat. But Benitas? Sorry, no, it's, uh, Xehanort, yes. Xehanort! Baphomet. Well, whatever it is, give me the willies, but I do wonder what's written inside. Hard to say with the book locked up tight as it is, isn't it? Still, the symbol is very intriguing. Yeah, Professor, maybe someone in the antique shop over there can tell us something about it. Excellent idea, Luke. Let's begin our investigation there. Oh. That's our third minigame? Wait, no, we have a third minigame. Huh? Local antique shop. Alright, what was that? Oh, fourth mini game. Oh, what the hell? <clears throat> I met the most enchanting girl at the ball we held last night. These parties are usually a complete bore, but her presence changed all that. As the Duke's son, the unfortunate reality is that most people are either unnaturally polite or fawning toward me. But this girl was warm and real, and she treated me like anyone else. It was very refreshing indeed. I do hope to see her again. Okay. Super duper lore? What the hell? It's the deepest lore. The Duke's son. I assume that girl is now dead. Alright. Coin time. It's Flora's mother. Flora's mother is dead. She's been dead. I know, but who, who knows how old this book is? Wasn't the, uh... Wasn't the that guy who died last game a duke? Or was he a baron? He was a baron. Oh. Uh, which is higher, Duke or Baron? Um, tell me. How the Ch fuck Ch are you here? Well, everyone arrived on the cart, right? On the train, correct? I don't remember him coming to the deluxe car. Alright, tell me. What the hell are you doing here? Inspector Chami, where did you come from? Took the words right out of my right out of my mouth, laddie. Was expecting to see you two in a place like this. After some field work in Dropstone, I was able to deduce that this town and the amazing box were linked. Doctor Shader had a that stockpiled quite a stack of research on the Elysium box. 
the criminal I'm in pursuit of more than likely, more than like, more likely than not, killed the doctor to get his hands on the box. So instead of chasing the man, I decided to chase the box. When I find it, I'll catch the culprit. There's a solid bit of reasoning there. You expect that from the inspector. <laughs> eh? Did you see something, lad? No, sir, not a word. Good, because I've got no time for idle chit chat. I've got a murder to catch in a and chart back to London. Come along, Barton. We're leaving. Mm, I mean, yes, sir. All right. Now we have little, little Barton. Now I'm fucking his wife. Oh. Good day. Are you out shopping for anything in particular? I apologize, but we're not here to shop today. However, I was wondering, have you ever heard of an antique called the Elysian Box? Oh dear, here we go with that box again. You know, you're the third party to ask about it today. A third? Those two detectives you saw were just asking about it, and a half hour ago there was a young lady. She seemed interested in knowing whether anyone had been searching for the box around town. You describe her. And don't... She don't... Don't describe her like a male author would. Just, I need a general description, not, not all that whack shit. Babunga Wazunga. She was quite the beauty. She wasn't a local, but she had a face that just seemed familiar. And the officers, well, they said they were here on official police investigation. I'll tell you what I've told everyone today. I wish I could help, but this box you're after is news to me. One of my visitors, I forget who, mentioned something about the box having quite a history behind it. If the thing was ever in full sense, it might be worth checking out the Herzen Museum. Where might we find this museum? Just look for the big building in the middle of town a ways to the north. The museum houses a wealth of documents celebrating the history of our town. This is all extremely useful. Thank you for the suggestion. We'll be sure to pay the museum a visit. Before you run off, would you mind if I took a look at the book you've got there? Feel free, my good man. The construction is quite unusual for a book of its age. Lovely work and very rare, I'd say. Would you happen to know anything about this symbol on the book's cover? I was just about to comment on how familiar that symbol feels, though it has no significance I'm aware of. I must confess, what drew my eye to the book were its locks. Old gadgets always fascinate me. Its construction is very basic, so you might be able to turn the locks with any old key you stumble upon. As a matter of fact, here, why don't we see if this key does the trick? It's my way of saying thank you for showing me something interesting. Many thanks, my good man. Okay. Too bad we didn't find out more about that book in here. It certainly would have been nice, but we'll have to put the book aside for now. It's time to pay a visit to the Herzen Museum. Bring me bum bum a brum. The Hershey Museum. <laughs> ah. That was four book entries. We're we're sliding through. All right, Duke. What do you got this time? I had the great fortune of bumping into that girl from the ball again today. She's the daughter of some fancy lord or another, and it shows. Her intellect is matched only by the grace she displays. To be honest, I'm quite taken with her, and I've already started courting her. However, I fear father seems less than pleased with the idea. Oh my god, it's Romeo and Juliet. I've, I've heard all about you, Missy. I know you've been asking around the town for about that box. Oh, but I just... 
Alright, so it looks like Duke is higher than Baron. She she was the daughter of the mayor in Dropstone. Yes. Yes. Or you say anything, I don't care who Nero Dad is. No one is above the law. I I I went out chasing these box moves and popped for my suspects list. No, you got it all wrong. Sir, if you wouldn't mind. What is it, Barton? Can't you see I'm in the middle of something else here? Um, yes, about that, sir. If the criminal we seek killed a man to obtain the Legion box, so the villain should have it already. If the young lady was our culprit, she'd have no need to ask about the box, in my opinion, sir. Was that so, Barton? <laughs> I don't recall ever asking you for the analysis of that situation. T terribly sorry, sir. Please forgive my momentary lapse in judgment. I'll just be going now. Barton, get back here this instant. I'll have your nightstick, I swear. I don't want you to have my nightstick, sir. Wait, that's good we saw. That's a station in Dropstone. What was her name? Kate? No, it's not. I believe you're thinking of Mr. Anderson's daughter, Katya. Yes, that's... that's the bitch. Who mm. thought she headed to the same place as us? Hmm. Your vernacular is troubles me, boy. Very... Very interesting. All right. All right, so the hierarchy goes king slash queen, prince and princess, duke, duchess, uh, Marquess and Macroness. I don't think I s I've said that correctly. I've never heard of that. Uh, Earl and Countess, Viscount and Viscountess, and then it's Baron and Baroness. So Baron is way higher than Duke. No, Duke is way higher than Dutch. Sorry, Duke is way higher than Baron. But you just said it was bottom to top. No, I said it was from top to bottom. Oh. Why would the king and queen be at the bottom? <laughs> I don't know. Dum dum dilly dum dum. That's... Yes, okay. Oh my god, it's Station Scotian. Alright, below Baron is Lord, then Knight. Okay. So, so Duke is way higher than Baron. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, Emperor's above King. Yeah. Who has stash and scarf in? Uh, uh, I think it was you. I believe so. <laughs> now there's a couple of mugs I've seen before. Hey, I know you. You're a bitch. And I know fate, because that's what brought you, me, and that swell tea set of yours together. Now that we're all reunited, I say we celebrate with a cup of tea. Bring me something nice, would you? What's make tea for you? That's right, whippersnapper, but nothing fancy. A cup of Bell Classic will do the trick. It's so easy to make, even a baby could do it. A baby with a magic tea set, that is. Well, well, thank Anywho. you. Bell Classic? There you are. Serve. A style spreads across Stash and Scarfin's face. <laughs> Not a bad cup of tea you make, Shorty. Of course, you wouldn't have pulled it off without my expert direction, so don't get cocky. You know, this town is filled with thirsty folks. If you know what oh. I mean. Oh. You got the tea set, so the way I see it, it's your responsibility to help people. If you manage to help everyone out with a tea break, good things will happen. This I promise. 
What do you think? How much good can we really do with one cup of tea? Oh, a fair bit, Luke. A gentleman never underestimates the power of a cup of hot tea. Well, I suppose... I mean... I have heard of the, uh, pocket sand trick. I can only imagine what would happen if you used Steam Earl Grey. Hmm. Alright. Um, I think with that, we'll end it there. Quite a lot of progress, I would say. Quite a lot. Even though we didn't do that many puzzles. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I've been player one. I've been player two. And, and we're walls. See you next time when we do some more. In your walls, do not ignore me. Bye bye.